out the head of us. Hopefully we'll find Mr. Viss before we all die. That would be very, very, very good. I want a different career choice right now. You know, if you would stop complaining in song, that would actually be very beneficial. Would you prefer I complain in poetry? We get it. You don't like the Shadow Forest. Neither do the rest of us. We're all tired of it. Let's just find Mr. Viss, get Happini all healed up, and that's what's important here. And the free soup. Stop with the soup! Still can't believe that we fed the map to Dragonite. Well, he wanted to eat it, and by god, I have never seen anybody eat a map so ravenously before. I have never seen anybody eat a map before. I was promised free soup. I swear to god, if we get there and there is not free soup, I will either kill somebody or cry. Perhaps both. Greetings, weary travelers. Wait, is that... Would you be mischievous? Yes, yes I am. Wait a second, how do we know that she's the real mischievous? Hold on, I'll check. Do you by any chance, at your abode, have free soup to give out to weary travelers? That's an oddly specific question to ask, but yes. Okay, she's the real one. Everybody follow the leader! Oh, I guess I'll lead the way then. The way to soup. Alright everybody, follow Mischievous. It looks like luck is finally in our favor. And that's how we got here. Hmm. Seems like you guys have been through a lot. Though I already knew all that. Wait, you what? Are you some sort of futurist? Oh no, honey. I'm merely a ghost type Pokemon. I can see everything. Well, that's moderately creepy. A Dragonite, how is the soup holding up? This is no ordinary soup. This is God's gift to Pokemon kind in soup form. If anything, I'm more creeped out by him. Well, I knew all about you guys when you were here, as I was able to read your minds and what you'd been through. However, I knew you all were coming thanks to somebody else. Wait, somebody else? Oh yeah, Leafeon did say that you're taking somebody else under your wing. Or like the rough. Yes. Allow me to introduce you to my pupil, Riolu! Whoa! What? I don't know, a presence just came into the room. What do you want, Miss Mischievous? There's no reason to be rude, Riolu. I'm just introducing you to guests. Oh, well it's very nice to meet you all. Now, if that's all I'm here for, I'll just get back to training. Not much of a talker, that boy. Though he does put up a good fight, though. Dang good. Well, actually, we could probably use a good fighter on our team. The poor kid had been through tragedy, you see. So he had no real place to go, and I just sort of, you know, swooped in and gave him a place to stay. Wow. Harsh life. I hate to bring Team Dark down on him, too. We should probably get going. Did you just say Team Dark? On the night that Sneasel genocided my race, he talked about forming some sort of Team Dark. <coughs> well, that must have been some uh, strong soup I had. I'm sorry, did you? Did I hear you correctly? Uh, your entire race? Yeah. He came, and before I knew it, everybody I'd ever known was, was gone. Wow. That doesn't sound like a very Sneasel thing to do at all. Uh, no doubt, he has an agenda. But destroying an entire race of Pokemon just to leave one kid? That doesn't sound like something he would usually do. I have to stop him. Is he following you? I know that there are people following you. Is he one of them? Uh, no, actually. It's the other members of his team, though. Yeah, all four of them. Four? Uh, do you have anybody else who you know who can help? Well, there was Ampharos, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Apom, but 
The last we knew, they were fighting off them, so... Well, we don't know where they are, or if they're even still. Hmm. Not to mention one of our other friends is down for the count. Say, how is Happy Annie, by the way? Oh, don't worry. She'll recover. She just needs time. Hmm. Well, in a situation like this, there's only one thing we can do. We train. Wait, what, now? Yes. We have minimal time. I know a place. Follow me! <laughs> well, you heard him, everybody. Let's go! Wait, so can I just stay here to make sure that the soup is okay? Come along, Dragonite. <laughs> All right, everybody. Follow Riolu. Actually, you stay. Hmm? I have something that I think I can give you in particular. Oh. Well, in that case, lead the way. All right. All right, here we are. This is where we train for today. All right, we're set. Okay, everyone, let's start with some advanced aura training. Wait, excuse me, what's aura? Wait, you don't know what aura is? No. Oh, okay, uh, how do I explain this? Um, you know attacks, right? Uh, please tell me you know attacks. Yes. Well, at least I do. I, Chirachi may not. What? Hey! Just saying, you barely use your attacks at all. Might want to do that, you know, a little bit more. Shut up, I'm talking! Wait, but I'm talking! Alright, so every attack, move, everything you've done in your life uses aura. Aura is around us. It protects us. It's an energy, a force of life and nature. It's everything that makes us, us. Wow, that's trippy. Yes, and mastery of using aura is, is very, you know, a, imperative if we're doing that little thing. I'm pretty sure you've never heard of it. It's called winning. Kid, I will rip your head off if you give us any more sass. I'd like to see you try. As in, please try. That would be a very good demonstration of what aura mastery can do. Uh, Calm down, he's just- Flare oh, Blitz! That's Shh! Luca! What did he- So are you just gonna sit there, or...? Oh, ha ha! You think that's real funny, kid? What does Aura do? Make it jump high? Well, faster movement is one of its applications, but here's another. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's what Aura does. So, uh... Did that kid just take out Frenikin with one hit? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the series of events. Why? Eh, no reason. Just establishing that what I saw was indeed real. Aura is an important part of fighting. Without it, you might as well be just having a slap fight. Oh, so you just have to have a lot of aura and you'll be good, right? Fool's mistake! Having a high base aura is nice, but it'll get you nowhere if you don't know how to use it properly. You need to learn to control your aura. Focus it inside of you. If not, then you're just sort of splurging it out everywhere with reckless abandon. So, Aura supercharges our movements and makes us stronger in combat. Uh, do I have it? In the most basic sense, yes. I need to know how much time we have. I'm gonna use some Aura right now to check where Team Dark is. We have about a week. Wait, a week? Max, if we're talking more realistically, I'd say we have about four days. Oh, well that's comforting. No, no it's not. Especially when I factor in the fact that I need to aura train you, you, her, you. Huh. What? It's weird. You didn't know anything about aura yet. I don't think I even need to train you. You seem to have full mastery of it. Wait, what? What? Uh? Uh, uh. Uh... You. You get a pat on the head. Good job. Now everybody, let's go train! Wait! No! 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 I want to come with you. I just... I didn't want to come with you. Why? You already have mastery of it. What more can I teach you? Yeah, but I need to know how to use it. I don't really know how to attack all that well. You are a strange case. Whatever, come on. Alright. Oh, good. You're awake. Welcome to the medical station. Ah! Who, who are you? Miss Amora? Hello, Hapini. I can't tell you how happy I am to see that you're okay. Amora, where am I? Well, I guess it's just like Mr. Viss said. 
You're in the medical station, which is actually just a shed located outside of Mr. Viz's house. Wait, you're Mr. Viz? Yes. Good thing that you uh, have at least heard my name. Oh, so we got to the Shadow Forest. Yes, though you were quite injured after you were given a heart stamp by Manaphy. So that's why I don't feel up to being the best and why I'm sitting here on this bed of hay. Speaking of which, you probably should avoid doing any sort of harsh work for the time being. You don't want to accidentally tear one of your ligaments. What? Uh, what does that have to do with my heart? You think that the heart stamp only affects your heart? What? Well, it's called a heart stamp. It more or less affects the whole body, so don't stress yourself, okay? Oh, okay. Hey, Amora, we're going with Riolu to try. Chikorita? Ha! A penny! Ah! Oh my god. I thought you were going to die. I. Uh, don't ever scare me like that again. Ever! It's not exactly like I wanted to get hard stamped, but I'm glad to see that you're okay too. Is the rest of the team. Oh, well, the rest of the team that we do have is fine. We did, however, lose. Apom, Ampharos, and the Eevees. Wait, we lost Ampharos? Chikorita, I think you're giving her just a little too much to process all at once. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I should get going. Uh, we met this cool guy. He's called Riolu. He's a bit... Um... Hmm. Chikorita! <laughs> you were supposed to follow the group. Shit, I'm the child here. Come on. Uh, hello? One moment, please. Ah! Hello there. So, what are you... Training, we're training. I'm Riolu. Uh, I'm getting all of your friends to go train because Team Dark is coming in less than a week, so, uh, chop chop. Wait, what? And you're not coming? I can barely move. What moves can you use? Uh, roll out, Egg Bomb. Good! Practice a bunch of rollouts here. I want you to do a thousand by 12 o'clock. Chop chop! What? Uh, excuse me, I, I am I am recovering! Uh, she doesn't actually have to do a thousand rollouts by 12 o'clock, right? Oh no, Riolu's just being silly. I'd say about 500. Excuse you! Sorry, it's really important that you are all ready to go for when Team Dark arrives. Say, Amara, this is not actually where I needed you to go with me. I just wanted to check on Happini and make sure she's okay. Uh, can you come with me to the, uh, other side of the shed? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, bye! What is my life? Alright, so, physical training is crucial. We're going to need to work on your striking skills. So, what, are you just gonna give us a, uh, a punching bag to strike? The heck is a punching bag? What? No, you're just gonna continue to punch this tree over and over. But... But I don't have hands. Of course you do. You have those, uh... Nubs. Just go! Ah! Ah! Good striking there. Alright, you two. You're gonna focus on growing some grass for me today. Focus that grass-type energy deep inside of you. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not a grass-type, I'm a dragon. Don't talk back to me! Good. Now, grow some grass. I got it. You've got a hundred more to go. Uh. <laughs> okay, so you said you're better at support. Well, if you really want to support your team, you're gonna need to learn how to heal. Great, so who or what do I- <laughs> Heal! <laughs> Alright, learning to swim is very important. It calms the mind and relaxes you, which can help you use aura better. So, who's ready to swim? I hate you so much right now. Fantastic job, Snivy. Dragonite, you could use a little work. <laughs> if you're aquatic yet, just raise your hand. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic work here, Snivy. Absolutely fantastic. Dragonite, you could really learn from him. 
Screw you, dude! Come on, hit that tree harder. My grandma could hit that tree harder, and she's dead. My family's dead. Friends of my family's families are dead. Dear God, how many Lucario's were there? I thought that species was just a myth until a couple days ago. You're gonna be just a myth if you don't start hitting that tree harder. Go! If you can't heal yourself, you can't heal anything. Heal faster! I am dying! It builds character. Now get back in the water. Duh, 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 duh. Stop, 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 stop. You've gone past your limit. You've gone past my expectations. Wait, so does that mean... Yeah. I think we got a shot of pulling this off. I think we've done it for today. Tell everybody to come back into the house. <laughs> We've made it. What do you want me here? Oh. These two doohickeys here are called technical machines. Perhaps you've heard of them. In myth and rumor, yes. Well then you'd still be aware that these are able to teach a Pokemon any move that is on them. So you want me to know these moves? Just one. One that will dictate who you really are as a leader. On this TM right here is the moon known as Hyper Beam. A powerful, powerful blast of great offensive potential and destruction to your opponents. I see. And on this one, protect. A move purely for defense to yourself and your entire team. Choose wisely, for once you know one, you may never learn the other. This one. Are you sure you want to learn the move Protect? I do not wish to be the one who is the heavy hitter of the group. I want to be the one to protect my team and ensure their safety, ensure the world's safety, and ensure that the people that I know and love can be okay. Once you learn this, there is no going back. Are you sure? I am sure. Your choice indeed. All right. Hold still. There. You've learned the move Protect. Now you may go with the others. Or stay here if that is your leisure. Ugh. I feel lightheaded. Ugh. Is it supposed to feel this way? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, people generally feel nauseous after taking in a TM. It's not a natural thing, so uh, Pokemon's biology doesn't exactly know how to handle it all that well. Uh, you can lay down here for a while if you want. Yes, yes I would. All right, I'll wake you up when need be. Got it? Got it. All right. Sleep tight there. To defend my team, that is my way. To defend the world, that is my cause. I just hope that my team can learn to defend themselves so that when I am gone, I will not have to worry. I performed so many fire type moves today. I hate to say it, but I think I'm completely burnt out. Ugh. And I performed a rollout so many times, I think I'm still dizzy. Are you gonna throw up? Maybe. If I can find the energy, maybe I can give a healing move to one of you. Yeah. And I've grown so many trees that, well, at this point, I don't even know what to think anymore. Oh, boo, freaking who? You had to grow some trees. I was the one who had to grow trees and suffered for it, so you shut up! Four days in, and I still think this is a waste of time. Well, we have improved, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah I, guess I guess so. so. Yeah, I kinda yeah. Know. Honestly, if I'm feeling bad for anybody, it's Riolu. Why is that? 
Well, this is clearly a very personal matter to him, and... Well, he's stretching himself to absolute limits just to, you know, keep tabs on us all the time. He literally has to be on top of every single one of us, so Lord only knows what type of stress he's putting himself through. Yeah. Speaking of, where is he? Oh, I think he's out back. Uh, are you gonna go join him or something? Actually, yes, I think I will. Can I sleep now? Yes, yes you can. Hooray! <laughs> Hey, you put in a lot of work to help us out, and I just wanted to say thank you for that. Most people probably wouldn't have even done this, so I have to ask, what does this all mean to you, outside of getting revenge and all that? Hmm. You're assuming there's a meaning behind this. So you're saying you're only here for the revenge? When I'm done here, the world will be safe. That is my hero's journey. Doesn't sound like a very heroic thing to me. What? What do you plan to do after this is all over? After you've taken your revenge? Well, at that point, there will be no point for me in this world. I will have done all I can. So I will take my place with my ancestors up in the sky. And there's the problem with your philosophy. <sighs> See, I'm not gonna pretend to know what you went through or what you've gone through to get here, but Here's the way I see it. A hero isn't somebody who takes revenge and then just leaves. That's an anti-hero. That's somebody who cares only about one thing and only cares about themselves. What are you talking about? I care about other people. Do you? Do you really? Or is that what you're just telling yourself to make yourself seem better in your own head? A hero is somebody who fights for everybody to make sure that everyone's lives are better. To make sure that nobody has to go through pain and regret and sadness. And they don't always have to succeed, but they at least have to try. So what, are you just the biggest hero? Are you the big hero expert? No. I'm just saying that being a hero is a, not a mindset. It's a lifestyle. It's something that if you don't start living it soon, you're never gonna be who you say you are. You want to be a hero, kid? Start acting like one. <laughs>